Today we're looking at a brand new Bluetooth wireless controller, the base unit Candy Con. This controller I picked it up at the local GameStop. These just dropped. These you can basically customize. I got the base unit, which you have to uh, get the faceplate, the little uh, analog sticks, plus the uh, D-pad here. This whole controller is all about customization, so let's go ahead and take a look at this new controller. Okay, so inside the box you're gonna find the, the skeleton of the controller. It's gonna come with the charging port, this type C, and the USB. I am guessing this is the Bluetooth device, so you can connect it um, to either the computer or the Nintendo Switch. This is the only devices that are compatible with a Nintendo Switch and a PC. So the controller feels pretty good. Uh, I actually kind of like the uh, the R and L buttons up here. Um, they're kind of like the Xbox Series X controllers. Uh, up here, I don't like that little clicky sound. It's different. Um, buttons feel kind of like the Switch, actually. Um, and the plastic feels a little bit more premium than some of the A1 um, or the A2 controllers, I believe. Um, like for the Nintendo Switch, um, they feel it, it feels better than that, but not as good as the uh, Pro controller. So I think it's somewhere in the middle. Uh, this controller, uh, just this uh, base unit, this by itself. Um, if you just buy this, it's not gonna come with any of this right here. So make sure you have to buy the additional items, which uh, we're gonna go ahead and add to them. This I picked it up on GameStop. Um, you can also pick up a controller that's already pretty much already pre-made. It already has all the analog sticks, has the faceplate, um, and there's different variations. The GameStop I went to only had one version of it. Uh, which was kind of like a pink and bluish kind of feel uh, But I want to make you know the custom one or at least uh, some more custom um, So let's go ahead and check those out My little brother told me these colors would combine better so for the analog sticks we got blue and then we also got uh, orange for the d-pad uh, This the analog sticks costed $3.99 at GameStop and the D-pads were $3.99. Kind of kind of like have to twist it a little bit uh, so it actually goes in, but that's pretty much it. So yeah, you just push it in and you're good. Uh, and now let's go ahead and put the face plate. That's it. Um, okay, it didn't like snap, so um, thing, I think that's it. Uh, but it feels pretty good. It feels heavy. Uh, this controller, I did see on the box. Uh, it does, uh, you know, there's uh, motion control. Uh, you can map out the buttons in the back. Uh, and then there is uh, vibration on this controller, which I was kind of worried about for a second there. Um, and uh, you can do wireless and wired. And, uh, you know, pretty much what a controller has. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use... What's my phone? Oh, these control freaks uh, that my little brother has. Uh, and see if they fit. Uh, in case you guys already have one. Oh, they do fit, Mira. Yeah. Oh, really? For both the the analog kind of feel like the uh, uh, Xbox Series X uh, analogs. They kind of have the same shape, same feel. Maybe this one actually feels a little bit more open, like this little surface. But yeah, it's pretty much the same. And so you can you can use these on this controller. 
Uh, so that's pretty good. So after a couple hours uh, of using this controller, um, I do believe that if you are looking for an alternative controller to the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, this would be a good choice uh, given the price range, which would be about $20 less. Uh, features basically everything else, uh, but it just might not feel as premium as the Nintendo Switch. But you can also use this controller for any uh, PC games, it worked really well and there's very little or to no latency that I noticed while I was playing Black Ops 3, uh, Apex, or uh, Helldivers. So definitely, you guys should definitely pick this up. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys like this review. Uh, if you guys do like the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you uh, love the video, make sure to subscribe. And uh, well, thank you so much for your time. And I hope you have a good rest of your day today. Bye-bye. Mm,